Okay, I'm getting ready to show uh, how to cut out uh, Christmas ornaments. Here's just one example. There's several different designs that I have. Here's one that uh, uh, I don't even know what you call it. It looks like little acorns or something. And uh, the uh, it's quite tedious and very fulfilling when you get it done. Uh, here's what you do I'm gonna pinpoint like right here it's hard to hold this and uh, but those little there's little dots that's where I'm gonna have to drill you see right up inside where that little hole that's where your strings gonna go through there eventually in each hole you've got to drill in this particular one you've got to drill a hole uh, in each one to start your blade and then you feed your blade through but you have to uh, 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 make sure you drill, you don't force your drill bit and, uh, and if you'll notice it's got a, a different uh, shape at the top and when you get all through that's going to be the, the side view this is three dimensional Christmas ornaments and you can see how small it is. You, you'll cut out from the inside, you cut out cut out each section then you'll uh, keep, uh, you'll put tape over that to, uh, make sure any pieces don't fall out that they stay in there tight you know like masking tape You've, by the way you can see I've taped the corners because I didn't get this glued on real well I used Elmer's glue but that uh, Oh, I can't think what to call it, but it's that stuff that you spray on it. It's, it makes it tacky. That's probably the best, but make sure your corners are tied down. And then you'll cut out each one. Uh, you'll drill this. You drill all your holes first, then you cut this out. And uh, uh, there's a, a right and a left side to it. When you get all through that right up there where my thumb is is where the string goes and be careful not to uh, cut too thin down here on the bottom or you won't have as long a stinger on it and another thing uh, that's very important is to uh, not force your blade because if you do you're going to run off because you're sawing through something this thick with a scroll saw and make sure you don't force it just let it feed and you need a type of a uh, uh, small uh, scroll saw blade that will let you turn but yet it can handle the the heat of the wood you know that it builds up and another very important thing is to make sure that you don't uh, uh, fail to drill all the way through with your drill bit because uh, you got to run your saw blade through there and when you're feeding that drill through there pick it up and let it down pick it up and let it down real gently several times so you don't force that drill bit because it's small it'll try to run off to the side make sure it goes through totally straight because if it doesn't you messed up your uh, from the start you're going to have a thin or a broken line or something 